Okay guys, for today's look, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer all over my face. For coverage, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB in the shade Light to Medium Sheer Tint. As you can see, I'm just dotting that all over my face with my Beauty Blender and then I'm going to blend it out evenly. Now I will be using my favorite concealer and this is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in the number 20. And I love this one because it brightens up under my eyes and I feel like it just gives me a nice coverage to cover up those bags. I also put it on my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, in between my brows, and on my chin. And then I just blend it out with my beauty blender as you are seeing now. To set the BB cream, I'm going to be using my Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Sandstorm all over my face. And this is one of my all-time favorites as well. Now this is my favorite part and this is contouring. I'm going to be using my Hoola Bronzer along with my blush brush. Yes, this is a blush brush, but I like to use it for contouring because it is angled. So I just contour my cheekbones, I put this on my jawline, and I also put it on the sides of my nose and on my forehead. Since I don't have the highlighter, I'm going to be using my Naked Basics palette and I'm just mixing together the first two shades. I put this on my cheekbones and I also put this on my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, in between my brows and the bridge of my nose as well. Moving on to my brows, this is my before and after of brushing my brows. I don't fill them in because I don't feel like I need to, they're already pretty dark. Now moving on to the most dramatic part of the makeup is the eyes. Now for my primer, I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I love this one because I feel like it makes my makeup last all night long. And if you're partying and dancing with your friends and family, you definitely want your makeup to be on point. For this look, I'm going to be using two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Urban Decay Smoked. And I'm just taking the shade Kinky with my eyeshadow brush and just blending that out on my eyelid as a base. The second palette that I'm going to be using is my new favorite and this is Tarte Let by Tarte and I'm just going to be taking the color Wonderer and putting that in my crease with my blending brush. And I'm just blending that in there making sure it looks nice and orangey kind of because I wanted to give it like a fall, winterish, warm kind of look. So I just pointed at the shade Dreamer and I'm just using this in my crease as well and on the outside corners of my eyes. So here I just slowed it down so that you guys can know what I'm talking about like by the outer corner of my eye so you guys can see why I decided to use that color. I just wanted the look to look a little more darker and actually like show the eyeshadow colors and not be like too light. You guys are probably confused on why I keep like dancing and moving my lips. It's just because I was listening to music as I was doing this look so that's why I'm like singing along with the music. Once again, I'm using my Naked Basics palette with the same shade Venus, and I'm just putting this in the middle of my eyelid just so that the look doesn't look too dark and vampy and just so that it can brighten up my look. I love doing this in every look just because it looks so nice and subtle. Another way that I like to brighten up my eyes is by using the same shade Venus, and I put this in the corners of my eyes, and I like to drag it down under my tight line because I just feel like it also brightens up the look and makes it look so much better. To highlight my brow bone, once again, I'm taking the first two shades that I used as a highlight and I'm just putting that under my brow bone, like right under the arch, so that it can define the arch much better. For my choice of mascara, I decided to go with Maybelline's Clump Crusher and I like to do my mascara in zigzag motions, brushing up because even though it is called Clump Crusher, it still manages to have clumps sometimes. 
I don't normally wear blush before this look I decided why not because if it is a holiday party it'll look so much better so I decided to use Benefit's Coralista and I'm just putting this on the apples of my cheeks and somewhat brushing up above the highlight using my fan brush I decided to just brush all over my face to make sure there isn't any loose powder just to like make sure everything's in place Here I'm just going back into my crease with the same crease colors just so that I can define it and add a little bit more because it looked a little too light and it didn't look like I really had makeup on. The lips are like my favorite part in every makeup look and for this look I'm going to be using a nice wine red color and this is in the shade 435 Plum Perfect from Maybelline and I'm just lining my lips and I just love how this color looks on me. It's so nice and it's really not expensive at all. I totally love it and I think you guys should go grab it as well. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys recreate this look, just at me on Instagram. My Instagram is underscore Princess Mia with two H's at the end. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. It'll make my heart really happy. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Mia here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys what's inside of my makeup bag.